Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning with me, Bring It On, and this new sweet armor. Uh, let's talk to Captain Bradigan and set sail to Gallows End. Don't bother me. I'm waiting for a passenger, some suicidal idiot. Can't hey. be caught chatting. I want to make a good impression. Hey, that's me. Uh, the Hanged Men. Blood Grin, the Whispering Witch, and the Baronet. Oh, fiends and killers, all of them. They give sailors a bad name. All right, well, I'm your passenger. Well, tie me up and drag me under. So you're the one the Navy's hooked into finding Gallows End and killing dead Kel. It's suicide. Really. Ask the others. Oh, wait. <laughs> you can't. But don't worry about them. Like my mother said, don't weep for the fallen. Even if they could hear you, they wouldn't care. Uh, what others? You know, the other applicants. Dead. All of them. All of the ones they found, that is. Plenty of others just vanished. One poor fellow was found cut into teeny tiny pieces. They needed a bucket to pull all of him from the surf. But don't you worry, we'll have a fine voyage. That's the spirit. Uh, tell me about Dead Kel. He's the worst of the worst. A villain who truly enjoys the pain he inflicts. He's a slippery one, though. Not even death can catch Dead Kel. I'd love to be the one to bring him in. Maybe then I'd finally get some respect. Uh, what is Gallows End? It is a mysterious island fortress of Dead Kel and his crew. Why? Do you know how to get there? Because I have no idea. I was hoping to figure it out as we go, but I'm starting to wonder if that's a good idea. Why don't second guess yourself? Yeah, you're brave. Flattery will get you nowhere. Unless I've had too much to drink. Then I'm afraid to say it'll get you all sorts of strange places. I shall not elaborate. Tari and I are ready when you are. Okay, uh, do I need anything? Only what you want with you in case of an emergency. There aren't many merchants where we're headed. Uh, who is Tari? He's the fine first mate on the ground next to me. Words aren't his strength, although I'd be pressed to say what is exactly. I found him after I was forced to maroon my last first mate on a desert island. That man became obsessed with me, probably because we had sex. A lot. Okay. Hey, you know where you're going? Seeing as I don't believe in navigation, I'd have to say no. Don't believe in navigation. Not at the moment. Not to worry. Once you've wrecked enough ships, you get the hang of it. Don't believe in navigation as a sailor. Huh. Well, I'm ready. If you're ready to depart, my vessel awaits. You'll find her both swift and seaworthy. Just don't go down into the hold. There's a leak down there. It's big. I'm predicting an uneventful voyage. We might even get bored. Off we go, then. Trust no one. Except me, of course. In the whole navigation comment, I just, I just finished writing a paper for school uh, in regards to advancements in uh, sailing and... Hello, hear the tale of the Pirate King. I'll finish later. Blood red wake. From dark Rathia to Fussbrank Sea. And dead Kel was his name. With hanged men crew and bow white flag, he sailed from Gallows Head. No solace for a sailor true when dead cold ship came in. Well, that was fun. But yeah, uh, I just finished writing a paper. Well, it was specifically about the tutors and their contributions to advancements in uh, naval technology, maritime. Advancements under the Tudor reign in England. Which brings me to my next point. I wanted to make a disclaimer because I just pulled an all-nighter, so if uh, my commentary is a little awkward, it's because I'm extremely tired. First, and hopefully only all-nighter I've ever had to do for school. I'm usually on top of my stuff, but I, uh... A couple things slipped past me this semester, so I had to pull an all-nighter. Anyway... I did not foresee such a horrendous disaster. Too bad. Are you well? 
everything in its right place? Most of the others were killed. It wasn't quick. I heard their cries in the fog, but I couldn't do a thing. And what happened? Dead cow. One moment there was nothing but open sea before us, and the next there he was. It didn't take much to sink the calamity. That poor ship was asking for mercy, and Dead Cow granted her wish. Uh, where are we? Welcome to Gallows End, my friend. At least I think that's where we ended up. I hope you like surprises. Well, I'm sorry for your loss. <sighs> no one is sorrier than I am. Those men and women were my family. Traveling as I do, there aren't many opportunities for closeness. I found that on the Calamity. Found it and lost it. Good thing Tari is still with me. Well, mostly. What happened to Tari? I'm not sure exactly, but he's bleeding like a gutted fish. We're going to need to reach shore if we want to fetch help. We'll have to come back for him. I wish there was another way. Is the ship ruined? Gone, Lyria Blesser. Like Mother always said, never love anything, because all things end up dead. A wise woman, my mother. And very, very sad. The hull drifted off into an eastern cove, where it sank away completely. Only bubbles remain. Well, it's just you and me now. And a more capable team I can't imagine. It appears our best path to the mainland is through a nearby cavern, but it seems to be flooded and blocked by debris. I do carry some old cobalt explosives in my pack, but I've never used one before. Well, not successfully. No time to jaw. Okay. I'm really excited to have this new, uh, new armor equipped. It's not my favorite armor in the game. I have gone through and looked. Oh, hello, the Leviathan shell. The base layer made from the shell of a massive frostbeak crab. This thick armor is light, but feels as strong as steel. It's not my, famous look nah, it's not my fa favorite looking armor in the game, but it does look really cool. It's probably my top four or five. Message in a bottle. I hope fortune has landed you a better fate in this life. Had I not been the irrational youth that I was, perhaps I would never have found myself trapped on this cursed island. Aspirations of wealth and glory do not compare to the comforts of home. That is the truth. May you heed my lessons of hindsight. Avery. I do think the Corthian set's probably my favorite. I think one of the DLC sets from this DLC is my second favorite. And then, um... I also really like the Crucible set, I think, is what it's called. And then it's probably this one. The Fae Hunter set just looks... Ugh, it's just awful. I want to see what this looks like, though. Oh, that's really cool. It doesn't match my other equipment, though. But it does look really cool. That's the problem with the unique armor pieces like that, is you have to find uh, other armor pieces that match them, and there's not always armor that matches it. She never used them before. How'd she know they were... Well, she said it successfully, I guess. But still. She put them right in the water.
Survey of Gallows End. Lotus Mining Company, Ropar's Judok, lead excavator. While the island of Gallows End is obviously imbued with magic, there are no native minerals worth the trouble of mining. When our expedition first landed on the island, it was immediately obvious that it was filled with an abundance of natural resources. Upon further study, however, we found that the trees were rotten and the stone unbreakable. The mission sorcerer found the root cause to be a cursed magic. We traced it back to the source and wrought the altar on top of a mountain, but were unable to open the door. The locals were of no help. Most of them had banded together and settled, settled the southern coast, but they all seemed to be trapped into some kind of religious zealotry, worshipping a god by the name of Akara. When we get back to Edessa, we'll have to, our researcher investigate Akara further. There was, on the other hand, plenty to salvage. They only had the Virga settled here at one point, but many of their ships have washed ashore. The salvage should at least pay for this expedition, but it's not worth another trip back to collect the rest. We found a large harbor on the west side of the island, uh, of Vergen construction. If perhaps one of the other nearby islands proves fruitful, we could perhaps use these docks as a resupply point. There's also a large Dvergen, or Dvergen, I keep in the middle of the island, but is in too much a state of disrepair to be useful. As for the tales of Dead Kill, they seem to be false. We didn't run into him or any of his hanged men. There are quite a few fair Gorda, however, but they are a little different than the ones we see back home. They seem to be held together by roots, similar to larger ones we found all over the island. The wildlife of this island is quite dangerous. What looks like a large rock from a distance ends up being a deadly root golem upon closer inspection. We lost two men to these creatures. Additionally, the caves and Diverga tunnels seem to be filled with uh, scavs, which have already cost us one operation. It is my recommendation that this island be removed from consideration for any new operation. Alright, well at least we learned the locations of a couple things. To the south there's a settlement, and to the west there's a harbor. And there's an altar on top of the mountain, and there is... A dwarven fortress. Get out of that. Wet. Yuck. It was weird, I couldn't hit that guy with my first couple of swings. I thought it was because I was standing in that stuff and maybe it wouldn't let me lock onto him, but uh That didn't seem like the case. I think this sword that I have equipped matches uh, my armor very well. Well, I messed up. I didn't mean to kill the uh, scuttle crabs. They're the first ones that I've killed. Done a really good job up to this point of not slaying my little scuttle crab companions. jump down right here? Is that a graphical glitch or is that supposed to be a crystal there? I'm screw it. I'm gonna jump down. I had to come down here anyway looking for uh, cobalt explosives.
See, I see stuff like that, like animations like that, and there's no stuttering there. Because I know it's not a performance thing on my on my end that's causing the stuttering. It's a it's an in-game issue. But then like you know, I see Jabbering jellyfish. I'm out of explosives. And we're so close. I can hear the waves on the sand. One of us is going to need to find some way to get us through this wall. And by someone, I mean you. You see, I don't swim. Or did I fail to mention that? I am. What do we need? Anything that can get us through this wall. Be creative. Okay. I'd help you, but I can't swim. Well, I've had a hammer equipped. Are we there yet? Yeah, it's, it's nerve-wracking again. The stuttering is so... Uh, it's just, it gets under my skin. Because it shouldn't be a thing. Be hasty, we have a whole cave to explore. It circles all the way around. see sunlight at? I guess that's sunlight. Alright, well welcome to Gallows End. Amazing! <laughs> we survived! I didn't want to say anything in the cavern, but I was betting against us. In the words of my dear departed mother, Always prepare for the worst, for it'll probably happen. There looks to be a settlement on the beach. Come, let's see who's at home. And where are you going? That village looks inviting. What with its starving inhabitants and looming gallows. Perhaps someone there can help us. Ready when you are? Alright, well, we made it. You're leading this mission now? You might want to introduce yourself. I got an achievement. A cartographer. You are. Otter Malloy. Akara blesses us with another lost soul. Welcome, stranger. I am Alder Malloy, and you've arrived at Cape Solace just in time. Tell me. How have you come to find yourself upon our shore? Uh, what is Cape Solace? It is a village established by those of us whose fates have brought us to Gallows End. Sailors and settlers, foreigners and families, but castaways all. We have made a life here on these beaches and in this village. Okay, uh, who is Akara? Akara is the reason I am here. The reason all of us on this island are here. And maybe, my friend, and it's why you are here as well. Kara is this island and everything upon it. Okay. Uh, we're here for dead kill. Ah. So you're here for the oppressor. He who was cast down. You're not the first to arrive on these shores in search of him. You will not be the last. But Akara's magic protects us here in Cape Solace. We are safe from dead Kel's deathless touch. The same cannot be said for those who venture past the boundaries of the village. Near the keep and the surrounding forest. Okay. Uh, you know Dead Kel? Dead Kel was the favorite son of Akara. 
You was given great gifts from our protector, only to squander them in the pursuit of power. We are blessed not to fear him. So many others live at his mercy, but not those of us here on the safety of the beaches. Akara protects the faithful. Okay, uh, what is the keep? Why, it is the great fortress that looms in the north. Grave Hall, as it was named by the Deverga craftsmen who raised its mighty walls. But the Deverga have long since abandoned the island, leaving their great keep empty. Some in the village, like Paddy, are intrigued by the keep's dark courts and corridors. But I would avoid it. Grave Hall is haunted. Uh, why are we safe here? The villain dead Kel rules much of this island, and he strives tirelessly to control every last inch. Akara will not let this happen. We are protected in this spot alone, just south of the river and along the coast. The Fallen One has no power here, and it enrages him. All right, well, I will help how I... Ah, I'll help how I can. Then there we go. Then you fit in well, for keeping the village strong is truly a group undertaking. We get by with Akara's blessing and providence, of course. You may stay with us for as long as you wish. But might I suggest that you find a way to make yourself useful? We all must do our part. Okay, uh, the hanged men. Magical deviants like their master. The hanged men terrorize any who brave the wilderness. Bloodgrin stalks the docks of Kells Harbor to the west, while the baronet rules the mountains in the north, haunting its peaks and twisted islands. Worst of them all is the whispering witch. We never know where she will strike next. Uh, Padre Dower. He's a funny one, plagued by delusions and inspiration. I've known Akara to touch people, but Paddy acts more touched in the head than blessed. Ever since he arrived, Paddy has had a covetous eye on Grave Hall Keep. I don't know what it is about that old ruin that so bewitches him. Okay, a gallows end. All who find themselves on these white sand beaches have been drawn by Akara. Here, you will discover many mysteries. But none more important than what to do with this opportunity. Who will you be when you leave Gallows End? The same person who came? Or someone else entirely? A Frostbreak Sea. I prefer the rolling tides of the Frostbreak to any grassy plain or hillside. I have lived a life adrift, seeing the world and meeting interesting people. Dead Kel. He and his hanged men are not welcome near our village. Akara has made it so. The fallen sun stalks the forest and coasts of Gallows End, but he is a prisoner here as much as anyone. One day, Akara will rid us of him once and for all. The Otter Malloy. I once captained my own craft. I was a thief and a smuggler. But all that changed when I found myself here, upon this mysterious shore. Akara blessed me with a second chance. That is what he does. He shows you what is possible. He shows you the fates of which you've never fathomed. I met Bridget, another castaway, and later we had our beloved Nina. All the happiness I'd ignored in my early life were suddenly mine. Akara. He is this island and everything on it. His power and wisdom give us direction, help us to chart a course through the thundering storm of this mortal life. Akara has been a part of Gallows End since before the first castaway dragged his boat ashore and kissed the damp sand beneath his feet. We here in Cape Solace worship Akara because it is he who provides safety, sustenance, and sense of purpose. Anina Malloy. She means well, but like all children, she craves freedom and independence. She will learn to respect boundaries. This is an island, after all. All right, let's see. Tidal pools, that's different. Let's see, they want me to go back and talk to. The captain, but we're gonna hold off on that for now. Must be something in the air. Anina Malloy. I cannot imagine a better place to grow and flourish. She has made this island her own, our Nina. And when Alder and I are gone, she will lead these people. Uh, Bridget Malloy. If I had a childhood, I do not recall it. My only memories are of the cruelty that the slavers inflicted on my parents 
and of the day they marooned me here to save food. My early years were spent scrounging to survive among the rocks. That was until Alder crashed here, and we began to work together to find hope in the wreckage. That is when Akara spoke to us, and when we knew a village must rise. Okay, uh, Otter Malloy. He was little more than a scalawag when I met him. A bandit without a band. All he needed was a bit of direction. That was me. Akara. The world is full of chaos, of tragedy and change. Akara is the certainty, the island in a sea of sorrow. I had no faith when I arrived here. A girl with no future, no hope. Now I know what I must do. Akara has blessed me with purpose. Bless you. Okay. Hello. Couple of castaways. What do we got? There's a Nina. Well, well, well. Another soaked and straggly survivor looking for a little comfort. Look elsewhere, friend. Okay. A Padre Dower. Never quite fit in with the rest of us in the village. Didn't do his part, carry his load. Apparently he's got other plans. I don't know why my father put up with him. Uh, Nina Malloy. I keep the village of Cape Solace in wild game, for when the sea is stingy with its yield. I also scour the forests and cliffs for plants for our village alchemists. <laughs> However, most people on Gallows End only know me as Alder's daughter. Till I escape this place, I'll never be anything more than that. Okay, a gallows end. I was born and raised on this island. I know many of its secrets. At least those it's willing to share with me. And while I feel at home on gallows end, I want nothing more than to leave it. Between Akara, Dead Kel, and my father, there's no room left for the rest of us. Dead Kel. Many years ago, this island belonged to the Dread Pirate. It was his lair, a place where the justice of the Alpha held no sway. But time passed, as it always does. His influence here has waned. I wouldn't let it keep you from slumber. Cape Solace. You'll get used to it. We don't have much, but we get by. If you're not one for cooperation, then you'd best find a camp of your own. Okay, uh, Otter Malloy. It keeps the village together, but sometimes that's not enough in a leader. I won't say more. I don't know you. Okay, Akara. He's a tyrant. Nothing more. We're captives here so long as Akara guides us. All my life I've heard of his benevolence, his protection. But what's he protecting me from? I'll tell you. Freedom. A whole world awaits us beyond these shores. A world I'll never discover. Goodbye. Well, you never know. I guess most of the chests are beneath me, right? Hello there, castaway. I've heard about you. You're the one what brought the captain. She's a quirky sort, not that I'm judging. Anything I can do to make you more comfortable? Uh, what do you got? Not a lot. Wait, what did I just sell? I'll hold on to that one. A uh, Padrig Dower. Oh, I could tell you a thing or two about Padrig Dower, but I won't. Too much of a lady I am. Paddy wishes only to serve in the highest company. The rest of us are scuttle in his eyes. He and his friends can keep their own counsel if you ask me. Okay, a uh, Grave Hall Keep. Haunted, cursed, damned. All of them apply to Grave Hall. No one has set foot beyond those walls in years. It's a place left to the ages. Don't let Padrig and his friends convince you otherwise. Okay, a gallows end. Getting marooned here was a blessing. People are always happy to see my face. That's because I'm the one who gets things. Besides, people only wish to return to the mainland if they have something to return to. I don't have this problem. Uh, Elwa Brand. My husband was killed in the wreck of the Blue Sabre, along with our children, Fauna, Peter, and little Gwen. It was not easy, especially during the first years. But with Akara's grace, I moved past the grief and flourished. 
A dead kettle. I have seen him just the once. He was poking his skull white face out from one of the Western fastings. Scary? Bah! Not in the slightest. Only cowards lurk about in the mud and take what doesn't belong to them. You're scarier than he is. Hmm. Ikara. Without his gift of endless comfort, I never could have faced the days alone. Everything I am now is because of him. I'll see you around. Interesting. So she saw him. She wasn't scared of him. It's, they really don't make him sound like he's that big of a threat. Not your mother. <laughs> okay, so that's junk. That's junk. I think this is... Okay, here we go. Quarry Dead Kill. The winning years of the Middle Kingdom's era. The ruthless and cunning Dead Kell sailed the frigid Frostbreak, Frostbreak Sea under the flag of the Bloody Hanged Man. In the rare and often graphic accounts that describe his person, Dead Kell cut a most terrifying figure, clothed in a shipman's black attire and donning a gruesome skull mask. Reports suggest that this headpiece was taken from the remains of one of Dead Kell's victims, but this highly dubious claim has never been substantiated, although its dramatic, even poetic, manner does fit the private's known behavior. Alfar naval logs allege that the pirate king Deadkill was tracked to his island hideout of Gallows End and executed at the hands of a Captain Kent, commander of the ship Gold Stream. No corpse was ever recovered. No death report was ever filed. Recently, Deadkill has come back to haunt the outside world, plundering vessels associated with our efforts in the Crystal War. Many do not believe this is the same Deadkill as the one in the old tales. It is my belief that they are wrong. A dark magic is at work. Like all great captains, Dead Kell possesses a certain charisma. Some call it charm, some call it danger. Whatever the name, Dead Kell is a superb leader who inspires great devotion in his followers. The men in his crew would gladly follow him to the ends of the earth and beyond if so ordered. A skilled swordsman, Dead Kell does not shirk from battle and charges into the fray, knowing that his mere presence will send many of the enemy running for their lives. Of all Dead Kell's weapons, his most potent is fear. His name is one that has transcended the, limit, transcended the limitations of time and place, and now perhaps even mortality. We best be careful of this one, Commodore Garrick. Well, I'll grab that. I'd like to get down here and grab these other things. I think we'll get around to that, if not quite yet. <sighs> Turn off Master Builder Heitzen. So it's going to be a lot of lore, it seems. I don't know if I want to read that this episode. I want to talk to this other guy first. I have two more NPCs to speak to. Let's hide out for a minute, see if we can grab this key. And then we'll talk to the last two NPCs. And um, then we'll probably call it an episode after that. We'll talk to Brad again in the next one. So, Cillian Keen. Or Killian Keen. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Cillian, the Beastmaster. Uh, Patrick Dower. Thinks highly of himself, but there's no one better to have on your side. Cillian Keen. I was trained to fight and bend the beast to mankind's service. Not skills in great demand here. We've never needed to fight, thanks to Akara's protection. And Alder refuses to allow beasts in the village. That's probably smart. A uh, Cape Solace. Cape Solace is nice, if you're into religious zealotry. Me, I prefer hanging out with animals to people anyways. Okay. Yeah. This is Patrick Dower. Look what the reef brought ashore this time. I am Padrig Dower. My friends call me Paddy, but I have few of those here in the village. I assume dear Alder's given you the welcome speech? Poor foolish man. It's getting crowded down here, you know. Pity we can't move, some of us at least, up to the keep on the hill. Padrig Dower. Raised by humans, trained by the master. And nothing but a sour malcontent if most of Cape Solace is to be believed. You'd be wise to steer clear of me, 
Praise Akara now and then and start making your new life here. Cape Salus. None of us are here by choice, so I try not to judge too harshly. But if I may be crass, they're a bunch of damn sheep, these people. Not all of them, of course. Keen Lan, they're good folks. My for two. The rest I wouldn't miss. Uh, Cape Salus. It's safe, that's for certain. And try as I might, I can't deny that's probably thanks to this Akara. Real or not, that doesn't mean I have to worship him like the others. I don't fall to my knees out of pure boredom like some people. Otter Malloy. Alder's a fine fellow. Just ask him. He'll tell you himself. You may have gathered he and I don't see eye to eye on some things. Otter Malloy. Alder's a fine fellow. I've already... Just ask him. Alright, Akara. Alder's god. I don't know if he's real or not, but I know I don't believe in him. What kind of god only protects you if you stay within these random borders and every few years sacrifice someone to him? Well, that's new information. Akara. Alder's god. I don't know if he's real or not, but right, I know uh, I What does Gravehall keep? Thing of beauty, isn't it? Nothing like the great city of Edessa, of course, but just as breathtaking. Please excuse my enthusiasm. I am, well, uh, I was an architect back in the world. If you want a nicer place to live, and you aren't afraid of spirits, I can help you get that keep. Interested? Kind of. Uh, do you think it's haunted? It's not haunted. Cursed, maybe, but not haunted. Gates locked and it's crawling with those damn scavs. And something else inside that's loud as hell. Every so often, someone gets an idea to sneak in. Most don't get as far as the door, and those who do never come back. How do you know all this? I've gotten as far as the top of the wall to have a peek inside. It wasn't easy. But I had a good enough look to know I'd better climb right back down and think of something else. Everything else? I know from the dream. What dream? Last night, I dreamt of the keep as it once was. Several stories tall and so beautiful, it made me cry. When I awoke, I was clutching this key in my hand. I don't put much stock in a Kara, but I do know a sign when I see one. Yeah, that sounds a little sketchy. There was more, but I can't recall it clearly. Perhaps it'll come back to me when we get inside. Will you come? We? Yes, we. I'm going with you. I'm not much good in a fight, but I can remember enough of what I saw in the dream to know where to go. So, you want to help me or not? I mean, kind of, yeah. I'm interested. Fantastic! Let me know when you're ready to go, and we'll be off. Okay, uh, yes, let's go. Come on, then. I'll lead the way, but stay close. Alder's god doesn't protect us outside Cape Solus. Goodbye. Okay. So he named a couple of other NPCs that I don't see around here. So I'm just going to assume that they're not... Not here. Are there a ton of books? We're not going to pick that one up yet. Well, yeah, let's pick it up. I'll probably forget to read it. I'm going to try to remember to read these... ...journals in the next, uh... ...next episode. If I don't forget, feel free to remind me. Because I feel like there's going to be some good lore in these things. So let's get back to Bradigan. So I don't know what's down there. What quest is that? Oh, sail to Melson Shear. I'll talk to Brad again, and then in the next episode we'll open up by reading journals. I don't know about you, but all of this talk about a car is unsettling. I'm going to ask around about ways to get off the island, since I'm almost certain we're not going to want to stay. How will we get back? We'll have to secure another vessel, but from the looks of the village, they don't often venture past the reef. 
In the meantime, I'll ask you to scour the beaches for survivors of our wreck. I fear that we may be all that's left of the calamity. Such a possibility has left me agitated. I try not to worry. Anxiety doesn't agree with me. I throw up. Are there maybe more survivors? I did not see my bosun Thora among the dead, or his wife Asa. There's a chance they have evaded death's grip and still count among the living. Mark my words, if even one of them survives, I will fight to the Earth's edge to find them. Okay, I'll bring them back. That's the spirit. I knew taking you on board was the right idea. That fortune teller didn't know what she was talking about. I will stay here and speak to Alda about a boat, and I'll have them send men to fetch Tari from the sandbar. I'll have dead Kel's head if it's the last thing I do. Okay, uh, where should I search? What was left of the ship drifted towards a cove past the eastern cliffs. I'd search there first, and I'd hurry. Okay. Lyria, watch over you. We have a couple of directions to head in. I wouldn't mind checking out the tidal pools, but I think the first thing we'll do next episode is... Not your mother. Read these journals. What's over here? The Shrine of Gaia. What does that do? 10% damage resist and 0.5 mana regen per second. Nice. Howling is. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to call the episode here. On uh, the next one, if I remember, we will start by reading a couple of journal entries, wherever they're at. A Diary of Mifa Ronwin, and there was another one. Journal of Master Builder Heitzen. I probably shouldn't have scrolled through these and kept them uh, undiscovered. Oh well. We'll do it the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.